Assalamu alaikum and very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome back to our science class. So, we still in chapter 2, ecosystem. Okay, for today's lesson, uh, our subtopic is 2.3, interdependent and interaction among organism and between organism and the environment. In this subtopic, you need to know what is species, population, community, habitat, and ecosystem. What is species? Species is a group of organisms that have common characteristics and can reproduce to breed offspring. In this figure above, fish, frog, and water plant are three different species. So we have one fish, one water plant, and one frog. So, this is a species. Population. A population is a number or group of organism of the same species that live together in a habitat. So, here we have a population of fish, a population of water plant, and a population of frog. Also, we have a population of butterfly and a population of water snail. Community A community is made up of a few population of a different organism that live together in one habitat and have mutual interaction with one another. So, here we have a population of fish, a population of frog, a population of butterfly, a population of water plant, and we also have a population of tadpoles and a population of water snail. So all of these organisms make up the community. Habitat. Habitat is a home for the organism. It is a natural living place of certain plant and animal. So, this is uh, the habitat for the organism to get air, food, space, shelter and place to them to breed. So, this is a habitat for water lily. It is also a habitat for frog, habitat for water Habitat for water plant Ecosystem What is an ecosystem? An ecosystem refer to the community of organism living in the same habitat together with non-living environment. So here we have a community of fish, a community of water plant, community of frog, community of water snail, a community of butterfly, a community of grass, and together with a non-living environment, we have water, air, and soil. So, this made up an ecosystem. A balanced ecosystem. Organism in ecosystem are interdependent on each other to ensure the survival of the species. These organisms are also interdependent on non-living components in the environment such as water, light, air and soil. The interdependence that exists between organisms in their natural surrounding creates a balanced ecosystem. So, the ecosystem is balanced when the living organism and non-living component in the environment are state, uh, in a state of harmony without any external interference. Importance of adaptation of living things to the environment. So, here we have three different habitats. We have tropical, desert and tundra. Every organism have unique ecosystem within which it lives. 
So there are this is where the basic needs of the organism to survive are met for food, for water, shelter from the weather and the place to breed its young. All organisms need to adapt to their habitat to be able to be survive. So how this organism survive in the tropical area, in the desert area and the tundra area? I give you an example of organism in desert area. We have camel. Camel survive by having the bumps uh, in the body. So the camel store fats in the bum so that uh, they can live in the desert area. Plant that live in desert area, we have cactus. So how the, the cactus adapt? So the cactus adapt in the habitat by store the waters in their stem. So that is the example for desert area. How about tropical and tundra areas? So, to answer the question, I want you all to do the sign assignment. So, you need to carry out multimedia presentation on how animals and plants adapt to the climate of their habitat in desert, tundra and tropics. Instruction, uh, you need to work in individually. Each person will be given one topic, uh, one habitat. Collect the material from a variety of media about the habitat and then discuss the adaptation of animals and plants to the climate in their habitat. Present your result using a multimedia presentation. You can do a PowerPoint presentation or you can make a video. Okay, I give you one week to do this assignment. Due date is on 16 February. That's all for today. Don't forget to do your notes and then do activity book page 16. Happy Chinese New Year to all my Chinese students. Happy holiday to all of you. Till next class. See you. Bye-bye.